So I just hit a thousand subs. Stick around and I'll show you how I did it right after this. Welcome to Framework Fortune. I'm your host Ben and I just got my first thousand subscribers. And in this video, if you're trying to start out on YouTube or you're interested in it, I'm going to show you the strategies I used and tell you the time frame it took me to get my channel to that mark. But if you're new around these parts, my channel is about building your financial freedom and everybody can use a little bit of that. So if you're interested in learning more, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Now before we get into the strategies I use, I want to give a little backstory and talk about some of the struggles that you're going to have as a small channel trying to grow it. So I started my channel last year around June in 2019 and it's February 2020 and it took me that long to hit that thousand subscriber mark. Now I do have a pretty small niche that I'm in and if you're trying to grow a small channel you want to be in one of those smaller niches. On my journey I've done a whole lot of experimenting with keyword research, thumbnails, graphics for the channel, music, all kinds of different types of stuff and I've learned quite a bit in the process it's going to be a learning process for you as well but spend that first you know six months to a year of building your channel try to get to that thousand subscriber mark but don't stay conservative get out there look at different graphics make different graphics just change things up switch it up every couple of weeks or maybe every two months something like that just so you can fill out what your niche wants to see and if you do that that will help quite a bit because once you get to that thousand subscriber mark you're going to start growing a little bit faster and by that time you should kind of have what you want to do figured out but the number one thing that's going to help you get to that thousand subscriber mark is consistency and if you've seen other youtubers who have their self-help youtube channels they will tell you this too they will definitely agree but being consistent is the most important thing you need to be dropping at least a video every week maybe two a week maybe three a week if you've got the time to do it and what this does is it allows you to get content out there so it's all over the place and you have plenty of different links leading back to your YouTube channel. Now the next thing is a pretty big thing as well that a lot of those YouTube self-help channels I don't really hear talk about too much. But you need some type of advertising. You need to get your videos out there. If you're just posting videos you're barely going to get any views and you're barely going to get any subscribers and it's going to take forever. So one of the things that I did was join Facebook groups in my niche that allow me to post my YouTube videos to their group. And I won't post all the time to the group because you don't want to spam these groups. But if they're allowing you to post your videos, you know, maybe post one a week or one every two weeks you don't have to post them all I haven't posted all my videos to the Facebook groups that I am in I only post a few but this will get you in front of a decent sized audience and start getting you views and subscribers but also be in those groups answering people's questions asking questions comment be a part of those communities you'll get a lot more support from those communities if you do that and remember it's a two-way street if you're going to be using their platform to advertise your videos on for free you need to be giving back to that community anyway now you can also do this with reddit join some reddit groups that don't mind you posting your video links in it and post some of them in there but once again be in those communities helping out now the number three thing keyword research if you don't have TubeBuddy I really recommend you get it I'll leave my affiliate link in the description below TubeBuddy is going to help you out tremendously with keyword research you're going to want to rank for certain keyword phrases so that way you can drive views to your videos and in turn your channel and gain subscribers so it's very important that you do your keyword research and know here's a little hint in case you've not watched any of the YouTube self-help videos but you want your titles, description, and your keywords to all match in some form. Now you don't want to spam your description, but when your title, description, and keywords line up, it gives your video a better chance to rank over other videos. Now the last thing that I recommend you do is experiment with your thumbnails. If you have no idea how to make thumbnails, then start taking some online classes somewhere or just Google it and try to find as much information as you can or find other YouTube channels that specialize in making thumbnails. 
but experiment with your thumbnails. Sometimes if you go too conservative, they don't work. Sometimes if you go too out there and too crazy and bright, they don't work. So for your niche, you have to experiment to find that nice middle ground that's going to work for you and draw the people in that you want to come to your channel. Now, if you're a small YouTuber, I know your goal is the 1K subscriber mark, but you need a little bit more than that if you're going to monetize your channel and start making money. So you need a thousand subs and 4,000 hours of watch time. You might not get 4,000 hours of watch time by the time you get a thousand subs. I'm not quite there yet. I still lack a little bit. But one thing that I do on my channel to try to grow that watch time is I come up with live stream series or, or live streams you know, that you can do every week. I day trade, so live streaming my day trades starts racking up a lot of watch time as I have people join in the live streams. So in your niche, try to figure out some way that you can incorporate some type of live streams or live show that you might can come up with. So that way you can get that 4,000 hours of watch time and you won't be at a thousand subs thinking, why can't I get monetized yet? So if you put everything together so far that I've talked about in this video and use it in your YouTube channel, you will be at that thousand sub mark in no time. Now I want to thank all the subscribers who's been with me for a while, watching the channel grow, been with me in the live streams while I'm day trading, day trading beside me. You know, you guys have been holding me up and I appreciate you guys sticking with me. We're going to keep this channel growing through 2020, keep doing the live streams, keep putting out content and coming out with new content for you guys. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. I know this is not an Oscar or a Grammy or something like that. It's only a thousand subscribers on YouTube, but I put in a lot of work and I really appreciate anybody who's willing to support me and support the channel. So thank all of you. You guys are the best. I'm your host, Ben. You've been watching Framework Fortune. Until next time.